everybody. Most of you know me, I'm Miss Roman, and today I'm not live. Instead, I recorded a video for you to watch, but I'll be back live tomorrow. We're going to work on some English work. So I'm going to share my screen with you, and you can get out the same worksheet, a pencil, and some coloring supplies, okay? We're going to be working on this worksheet today. First, we're going to read the sentences and finish the sentences by figuring out what the pictures are of. Then we're going to rewrite each sentence in cursive. Once we finish the whole page, we're going to color the pictures, only if you want to. So let's start. Can anybody tell me what this animal is? If you said cow, you're correct. Cow. Now, can anybody tell me what this is? This is the moon. So let's read the sentence together. The cow cow j um jump jumped uh, over the moon the cow jumped over the moon now let's see if we can write it together the Make sure I put a dot above my J. Over the The cow jumped over the moon. Let's try the next one. What is this? Hmm. What do you think it is? Do you think it could be a cat? No. Do you think it could be a mouse? Hmm. What do you think it could be? I think it's a dog. A dog sat on the log. Now I'm going to write my sentence. The Dog sat on the Log. Make sure I put my period. For those of you still working, I'm going to give you a moment and I am going to color the pictures. 
If you have finished working, now is the time to color the picture. Make sure you keep working on your sentences and coloring the pictures. If you don't finish coloring the pictures at the end of each page, that's okay. You can color them when you finish. Let's move on to the next page. We're going to do the same thing here. What is this animal? Is it a frog? No. Is it a butterfly? No. Shout it out if you know it. It's a cat. That cat is on the, the cat is on the what? Hmm, that looks kind of like a mat to me. The cat is on the mat. The cat is on the mat. Now I'm going to write it. See if you can write it with me. And on the mat. Make sure I put a period every time. When you're ready, we'll move on to the next sentence. In our next sentence, what animal is this? Shout it out if you know it. Frog. Frog. The frog gets, gets the, what does the frog get? What do frogs like to eat? The frog gets the bug. If you shout it out bug, then we have the same idea. The frog gets the bug. Once you finish writing it, then it's time to write it in cursive. It's a little bit challenging to write these on the computer, so it's easier to try with the pencil and paper at home. But so that I can show you on a big screen, it's, I have to do it on the computer. If you finished writing, now you get to color. If you're still working, that's okay. Keep working. We'll give you a few more minutes.
keep working. See if you can finish writing it before we move on. It's okay if you wait to color it until after. I'm going to move on to the next page. This sentence is a really long sentence. Let's see if we can figure it out. I'm going to give you a moment to figure out what the words are by yourself. Once you finish, we'll go over it together. Have you thought about what some of the words are? If you figured out what this is, shout it out right now. You're right, this is a girl. Hmm, but is it also a kid? Is it an adult or a kid? I think it's a kid. The kid, what does the kid have? A hat. You're right. The kid, kid has, the kid has a hat. Now, do you remember what this was? The kid, what does the kid do? P -put, p -put, put the hat. Where did she put the hat? What is this? You're right, it's a pig. The kid puts the hat on the pig. Whoa! The kid has a hat. The kid puts the hat on the pig. Let's see if we can write it together. The kid has, has a Period. We always put a period to end the sentence. That means that the sentence is over and we can start a new one. The kid puts the On, on the pig. The kid puts the hat on the pig. While you finish, 
you can work on coloring the pictures. Once you finish writing, we can color the pictures. I'm going to give the girl a pink dress. To match the pink pig. Give her some brown hair. Hard to do with a big marker. All right, once you have finished writing your sentence, even if you haven't colored yet, let's look at the directions for the next part. It says write your own sentence. You can choose any words to write down. See how creative you can be by writing your own words. Let's see. Hmm. We could write the dog sat on the cat. Wow, that's a funny sentence. The dog's too big to sit on the cat. What other sentences do you think you could write? While you finish writing and coloring, see how many sentences you can write all by yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.